Ricky Rudd can see the dollar signs now. He can smell victory. And he's around for the finish. It's a checkered flag for Ricky Rudd. It's his first victory ever coming here at Riverside, California. We've been waiting a long time for this and just really tickled to death that it's come. It just really hasn't sunk in. It's hard to believe. I'm just thrilled for the whole crew and everyone behind us. We've had a lot of people to work hard and put it together. Group of cars thunders into turn number one. Terry Lamotte in front. Earnhardt is there in second. Then in third, it's Buddy Baker on the outside. Bobby Allison is in fourth. Harry Gant is on the inside in fifth. At 200 miles an hour, all of these cars contesting for the lead. Earnhardt closes ground. He's going to try the high side. Earnhardt going to turn three at 200 miles an hour. Winds it up, fires it in there. And it's Earnhardt going in front. Baker to second, Lamotte back to third. It is still Allison in fourth. And now on the inside, Terry Labonte begins to move. Labonte back to second as they switch positions and shuffle down out of the turn. Dale Great Earnhardt. for Earnhardt. They were racing for second back there and opened the door for Earnhardt. As they come out of the tri-oval, headed for the line, the question will be who will be second. The checkered flag belongs today to the Richard Childress crew. Dale Earnhardt has done it again. The first man to ever win it two years in a row. Yeah, just lucky when I got by Terry. Him and uh, Buddy uh, jammed up side by side and gave me a chance to run on away from him. I'd seen that happen and I knew I had it made. Dale Earnhardt is on the backstretch. He won Rookie of the Year in 1979. He came back the next year and won the Winston Cup in 1980. And now, Dale Earnhardt at Atlanta, Georgia on a Sunday afternoon in November wins the Atlanta Journal 500 and wins the Winston Cup for the second time in his career. Dale Earnhardt is champion. Welcome to Victory Lane, champion. Feels good, don't it? I'll tell you what. We want to win a championship. Really, for Richard Childers and his team, they worked awful hard. And, you know, it's nice to win it for Dale Earnhardt, but it's great to win it for that team. And Coming down off turn four. And Earnhardt loses it, goes on the grass, comes back, and uh, Elliott goes inside. And Earnhardt still got the lead. Incredible. Piece of driving by Earnhardt. And it is Earnhardt, the body, Richmond, one, two, three. Richard, Richard Childers here with me. Richard, can you believe he hung on to that car in the trial when he got tapped? When, you know, when, when Elliot stayed in the gas and kept pushing him across the grass there, I just thought it was all over then, but Dale's a great race driver and he proved it right there. A man that can hang on to a car like that deserves to win in my opinion. And as he comes around, and goes past the scoring stand. Dale Earnhardt is the 1994 Winston Cup champion. Awesome. Wow. Okay. He wants to win it all today, not just the title. Title, race, match, set. Here comes Mast right to the bumper, slides it sideways, and Earnhardt holds him off to win the race and <laughs> knock down his seventh Winston Cup championship. It's unbelievable that we won seven, Glenn. I mean, it's just, uh, it's amazing that we could do it. Uh, I thought nobody would ever tie Richard Petty or catch Richard Petty's record or his championships, but, you know, he's still the king. We're, we're seven-time champion now. And there's trouble coming off a of turn two. Some cars get strangled. It might be this. Whoever gets back to the start-finish line, they'll get the white and the yellow together. Lake Speed and John Andretti tangle as the leaders head for turn number three. Andretti and Spencer got together. This could be the Daytona 500. Bobby Labonte goes to the outside. Labonte up high. Earnhardt uses the last car of Rick Bass to the, as a pick. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come to the caution flag to win the Daytona 500. Finally, the most anticipated moment in racing. If John Elway can win the Super Bowl, Dale Earnhardt said he could win the Daytona 500. And if he comes around under caution to complete this final lap, the taste of long-awaited victory will be his. Checkered flag, Dale Earnhardt finally is a champion of the Daytona 500. Look out on pit road. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane to congratulate the man who has dominated everything there is to win in this sport, except this race until today. Right now he's seeing the white flag. Kevin Harvick, one lap away from Indianapolis victory. 
His team owner, Richard Childress, we talked about being in hiding a little while ago. Childress won this race in 1995 with Dale Earnhardt. Kevin Harvick with the oh-so-difficult job of replacing Dale Earnhardt behind the wheel of this machine after Earnhardt was tragically killed at Daytona in February 2001. Harvick stepped in and in just his third race with the team took a memorable victory at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. He's half a lap from establishing racing legend for himself. The final corner. And 300,000 fans are on their feet at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The checkered flag is in sight. And the California kid, Kevin Harvick, wins the 10th Brickyard 400. White flag, one lap to go. Coming to the white man, coming to the white, single foul behind him. Five, Front six, four, eight, single foul. Here they go. They got to go. They got to get Mark moved. They got to move him somehow. Five. He gets back to that yellow line right around the bottom, all the way through turn one and two. Mark single Martin foul, is five, driving five, six, the race of his life, and there's nobody that's better at and holding it, people off at Daytona. And Kyle Busch lagged back a little bit. Is he going to get help? Is he going to come? Still He's a looking. Lot of back behind you. Almost, he almost squeezed Harvick into the wall, and here comes Harvick, the 29, Coming with Matt outside. Kenseth. Oh, Coming Mark outside. got loose. Watch Mark got bottom. loose, and Harvick's getting a run off turn four. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start-finish line. No yeah, caution. Down, They're side down. by come side, come right Mark. to the line. Big Mark. crash. Here they come. Checkered flag. Harvick. 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 Kevin Harvick wins the Daytona 500. White flag. Down to the final lap. Can anybody run up and catch Burton and Boyer? They've got some ground to make up if they're gonna do it. Oh. Shuffling around in this pack. Eight of the last 12 races here have been decided on the last lap. Dave Blaney first to break from the traffic with Brad Kozlowski. Here come Brian Vickers and Casey Kane. Whole knot of cars behind him, but Jeff Burton is a half a lap from victory. This far clear of the pack, does Boyer pull out and try and win? Uh, there's a chance that Boyer might try to pull out and win when they get to the trial. Here he here. goes. Here he goes. Does the pack have a chance to run him down? Side by side and contact. The pack is not going to catch him. They Burton bounce still off got a again. Shot. Clint Boyer gets the win. Richard Childress Racing celebrating its 100th win and uh, quite the day here at Talladega today, Nicole. It is now our honor on this 20th day of January 2017 to present the NASCAR Hall of Fame inductee ring and officially induct Richard Childress into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Thank you. How great is that to have your wife and your two uh, grandsons to induct you into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Proud of you two guys. I am honored to go into the NASCAR Hall of Fame with my heroes. Just look around this wall and look at the greats that we'll be going in the Hall of Fame with. Unbelievable. And to go into the class of 2017 with so many great inductees is quite an honor. Only in America, only in America could a kid selling peanuts and popcorn at Bowman Gray Stadium have a dream of becoming a race driver someday. And then he goes out and buys him an old 47 Plymouth, pays $20 for it. That was the best investment I ever made. And have a dream of being a NASCAR driver someday. Be standing up here tonight to be inducted in the NASCAR Hall of Fame only in America. What a great country we live in. And I'm very fortunate in my life, and I'm humbled and honored to be inducted in this NASCAR Hall of Fame. Thank you, and God bless America. Green flag. Boy, Alvarola's right there with Denny Hamlin on this restart, that's huge. Toyota and Ford up front. Chevy's in row two, Busher and Dillon. Boy, look at that one, get right down on that door, I mean. T 
tell you, that 10 car showing his strength, isn't he? Pretty DW. strong. We don't know how good some of these guys are because we haven't seen them up front all day. And oh. here we got a shot. Now, Paul Menard just tried to make a move on Busher. That's going to hurt Denny Hamlin. He's got no pusher. And Eric Almarola, who had a bad crash Kansas last year, missed six races. That's when Bubba Wallace got his chance to drive the 43. Almarola moved on at the end of the season to Stuart Haas Racing, and he is a lap away from the checkered flag in the Daytona 500. Well, he did what his crew chief told him. You got the lead, hang on to it. Yeah, he's just got to keep those two side by side behind him, keep working those lanes. I like the inside lane in the corner, the outside lane on the straightaways. Going to be a big push back, coming on the top the lane. Both of them. Same both lanes. Boy, this is going to top lane. Going to have to be quick. Going to have to be quick. Almirola up to cover. Dylan, where will Dylan's he go? Going to get there. Oh, oh into oh, Almirola. Around he goes. Good. Good. Hang on to it, bud. Hang on to it. And here it comes with the number three. Twenty years ago. 20 years of trying for Earnhardt. He won the Daytona 500. Austin Dillon wins the 60th running of the Great American Race. Got a car wrecked here. I think it's uh, Hamlin. Richard Childress. Austin Dillon's Hell grandfather. Of a job, buddy. Hell of a job. That's what I mean. You want it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You just win, Andy Houston. Yeah, you won it. Yes, sir. It is over. You won. Congratulations. You know what Richard Childress, this is an amazing event, an amazing day. How much does this mean to you right now? I, I just, you know, the emotions just flowing to be able to, to win with a three-car heavy winner circle with my grandson 20 years after Dale won in 98. So special and I can't thank the fans enough for supporting us for this and the Earnhardt family.